Hafez al-Assad was a Syrian statesman, politician and general who was president of Syria from 1971 to 2000, prime minister from 1970 to 1971, regional secretary of the regional command of the Syrian regional branch and secretary general of the national command of the BAATH party from 1971 to 2000. He participated in the 1963 Syrian coup d'état which brought the Syrian regional branch of the Arab Socialist BAATH party to power, and was appointed commander of the Syrian Air Force by the new leadership. In 1966, Assad participated in a second coup, which toppled the traditional leaders of the BAATH party and brought a radical military faction headed by Salah Jadid to power. Assad was appointed defense minister by the new government. In 1970 Assad seized power by toppling Jadid, and appointed himself the undisputed leader of Syria in the period 1971-1971. Assad radicalized the BAATH government when he took power, by giving more space to private property and strengthening the country's foreign relations with countries which his predecessor had deemed reactionary. He sided with the Soviet Union during the Cold War in turn for support against Israel, while he had forsaken pan-Arabism, or at least the pan-Arab concept of unifying the Arab world into one Arab nation, he did seek to make Syria the defender of Arab interest against Israel. When he took power, Assad instituted one-man rule and organized state services into sectarian lines. The formerly collegial powers of Ba'athist decision-making were curtailed and were transferred to the Syrian presidency. The Syrian government ceased to be a one-party system in the normal sense of the word, and was turned into a one-party state with a strong presidency. To maintain this system, a massive cult of personality centered on Assad and his family was created. Having become the main source of initiative inside the Syrian government, Assad began looking for a successor. His first choice as successor was his brother Rifarat al-Assad, widely seen as corrupt. In 1983-84, when Hafez's health was in doubt, Rifarat al-Assad attempted to seize power, claiming that his brother would not be fit to rule if he recovered. When Assad's health did improve, Rifarat al-Assad was exiled from the country. His next choice of successor was his own son, Basil al-Assad. However, things did not go according to plan, and in 1994 Basil al-Assad died in a car accident. His third choice was his son Bashar al-Assad, who had by that time no practical political experience. This move was met with open criticism within some quarters of the Syrian ruling class, but Assad reacted by demoting several officials who opposed his succession plan. Assad died in 2000 and was succeeded by Bashar al-Assad as president and Syrian regional branch head. Early Life and Education, 1930-1950 Family Hafez was born on 6 October 1930 in Kadaha to an Alawite family of the Kalbia tribe. His parents were Nasa and Ali Suleiman al-Assad. Hafez was Ali's ninth son, and the fourth from his second marriage. Suleiman married twice, had 11 children and was known for his strength and shooting abilities. Locals nicknamed him Warish. By the 1920s he was respected locally, and like many others he initially opposed French occupation. Nevertheless, Ali Suleiman later cooperated with the French administration and was appointed to an official post. In 1936, he was one of 80 Alawite notables who signed a letter addressed to the French Prime Minister saying that the Alawi people rejected attachment to Syria and wished to stay under French protection for his accomplishments. He was called Al-Assad by local residents and made the nickname his surname in 1927. Education and early political career Alawites initially opposed a united Syrian state, and Hafez's father shared this belief. As the French left Syria, many Syrians mistrusted Alawites because of their alignment with France. 
Harthas left his Alawite village, beginning his education at age nine in Sunni-dominated Latakia. He was the first in his family to attend high school, but in Latakia Assad faced Sunni anti-Alawite bias. He was an excellent student, winning several prizes at about age 14. Assad lived in a poor, predominantly Alawite part of Latakia. To fit in, he approached political parties that welcomed Alawites. These parties were the Syrian Communist Party, the Syrian Social Nationalist Party and the Arab BAATH Party. Assad joined the latter in 1946, and some of his friends belonged to the SSNP. The BAATH Party espoused a pan-Arabist, socialist ideology. Assad was an asset to the party, organizing BAATH student cells and carrying the party's message to the poor sections of Latakia and Alawite villages. He was opposed by the Muslim Brotherhood, which was allied with wealthy and conservative Muslim families. His high school accommodated students from rich and poor families, and Assad was joined by poor, anti-establishment Sunni Muslim youth from the BAATH party in confrontations with students from wealthy brotherhood families. He made many Sunni friends, some of whom later became his political allies. While still her teenager, Assad became increasingly prominent in the party as an organizer and recruiter, head of his school's Student Affairs Committee from 1949 to 1951 and president of the Union of Syrian Students. During his political activism in school, he met many men who would serve him when he was president. Air Force Career, 1950-1958 after graduating from high school Assad wanted to be a medical doctor, but his father could not pay for his study at the Jesuit University of St. Joseph in Beirut. Instead, in 1950 he decided to join the Syrian Armed Forces. Assad entered the military academy in Homs, which offered free food, lodging and a stipend. He wanted to fly, and entered the flying school in Aleppo in 1950. Assad graduated in 1955, after which he was commissioned a lieutenant in the Syrian Air Force. Upon graduation from flying school he won a Best Aviator Trophy, and shortly afterwards was assigned to the Meze Air Base near Damascus. In his early 20s he married Anne Issa Maklauf, a distant relative of a powerful family. In 1954, the military split in a revolt against President of Deeb Shishikli, Hashem al attasi head of the National Bloc and briefly president after Sami al-Hinawi's coup returned as president and Syria was again under civilian rule. After 1955, Atassi's hold on the country was increasingly shaky. As a result of the 1955 election Atassi was replaced by Shukrav al Kawatli, who was president before Syria's independence from France. The BAATH party grew closer to the Communist Party not because of shared ideology, but a shared opposition to the West. At the academy Assad met Mustafa Terlas, his future Minister of Defense. In 1955, Assad was sent to Egypt for a further six months of training. When Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalized the Suez Canal in 1956, Syria feared retaliation from the United Kingdom, and Assad flew in an air defense mission. He was among the Syrian pilots who flew to Cairo to show Syria's commitment to Egypt. After finishing a course in Egypt the following year, Assad returned to a small airbase near Damascus. During the Suez Crisis, he also flew a reconnaissance mission over northern and eastern Syria. In 1957, as squadron commander, Assad was sent to the Soviet Union for training in flying MiG-17s. He spent 10 months in the Soviet Union, during which he fathered a daughter with his wife. In 1958 Syria and Egypt formed the United Arab Republic, separating themselves from Iraq, Iran, Pakistan and Turkey. This pact led to the rejection of communist influence in favor of Egyptian control over Syria. All Syrian political parties were dissolved, and senior officers, especially those who supported the communists, were dismissed from the Syrian armed forces. Assad, however, remained in the army and rose quickly through the ranks. 
After reaching the rank of captain, he was transferred to Egypt, continuing his military education with future president of Egypt Hosni Mubarak. Rune up to 1963 coup, 1958-1963. Assad was not content with a professional military career, regarding it as a gateway to politics. After the creation of the UAR, BAATH party leader Michel Aflac was forced by Nasser to dissolve the party. During the UAR's existence, the BAATH party experienced a crisis for which several of its members, mostly young, blamed Aflac. To resurrect the Syrian regional branch of the party, Mohammed Umran, Salah died, Assad and others established the military committee. In 1957-58 Assad rose to a dominant position in the military committee, which mitigated his transfer to Egypt. After Syria left the UAR in September 1961, Assad and other Ba'athist officers were removed from the military by the new government in Damascus, and he was given the minor clerical position at the Ministry of Transport. Assad played a minor role in the failed 1962 military coup, for which he was jailed in Lebanon and later repatriated. That year, Aflac convened the 5th National Congress of the BAATH party and ordered the re-establishment of the party's Syrian regional branch. At the Congress, the military committee established contacts with Aflac and the civilian leadership. The committee requested permission to seize power by force, and Aflac agreed to the conspiracy. After the success of the Iraqi coup d'acute TAT led by the BAATH party's Iraqi regional branch, the military committee hastily convened to launch a Ba'athist military coup in March 1963 against President Nazim al-Qudzi. The coup was scheduled for 7 March, but he announced a postponement to the other units. During the coup Assad led a small group to capture the Dummer air base, 40 kilometers northeast of Damascus. His group was the only one that encountered resistance. Some planes at the base were ordered to bomb the conspirators, and because of this Assad hurried to reach the base before dawn. Because the 70th Armored Brigade surrender took longer than anticipated, however, he arrived in broad daylight. When Assad threatened the base commander with shelling, the commander negotiated a surrender. Assad later claimed that the base could have withstood his forces. 